Hey y'all, this is me, Vintage Saturn Fan Collector, back with a ceiling fan video. And to celebrate my birthday once again for 2023, I got the best fan that I got for my birthday specials overall. And that is a uh, 1990s Hunter Original. But this isn't just your average ordinary original. Let's step back a little bit. This thing is not your average ordinary original. This is a great room original. And I've yet to see these before. I didn't even know Hunter made these things. I knew they made 60 inch versions, but I've yet to seen a 56. But I'm sure it's kind of common, but kind of not. So I got this one off Marketplace for 150 bucks. Not bad on the price. I kind of think it's a little high for a Marketplace, but hey, it's better than paying 300. But, without further ado, let's see the light on. And yes, this is exactly how it came. Nothing changed except the down rod. The down rod was like three feet long. So I had to uh, do something about it. So, due to uh, how close the blade is to that stud right there, I'm going to briefly run it on high and medium for the sake of avoiding any damage so let's put it on low and yes I put wood screws to hold this thing it's not going anywhere I mean I actually use the bolts that I used for uh, my 19 uh, I think is 83 original white and brass one i'll have to film that sometime because i got the mounting stuff for it now and as we can see already this thing's going to be wobbling so according to the previous owner he got this out of a millionaire's house ain't that something let's briefly go on medium oh lord Golly, thing's doing a hell of a job. And yeah, and when I say hell of a job, I mean hella great. All right. So now let's go to high. Okay, I'm going back to medium because I really am keen on making sure this fan is not going to do anything. Now, if I had this more in an open space, I would just let it on high, but I think this is like a high on most fans. So I think we all can agree that this fan is pretty powerful and it's unique. So let's do the good old somewhat spin down. Let's have another look at low, too. I usually run it on low because this thing was just leaking oil left and right. So I don't want to lock up the motor. Yes, it will get more oil over time. It's just not right now. So let's turn this bad boy off. Oh, oh there we go. Ooh. Yeah, this thing likes to rock back and forth. There we go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys from the next one.